Welcome to the Influence Factory podcast. This program is dedicated to support professionals who have a desire to develop their digital business influence so they can navigate through a fast-paced, constantly growing digital world. We invite newcomers as well as our family of business influencers to a place to play, share ideas, questions, tips, and guidance with other thought leaders around the globe. Sit back and enjoy our program with our host, Dean Delisle, as he interviews guests. News and commentary is provided by Kate Hassett and Jackson Delisle. Power Move lessons are provided by the Influencer Marketing Department at Social Jack. And production, editing, and distribution is provided by the Social Jack production team. I want to just uh, welcome everybody to the Influencer Factory news segment. And uh, uh, something that's interesting here is that we have uh, an article that we're going to supplement as well, but it talks about, and we'll publish this uh, on the channels uh, that you're listening to now, as well as in the show notes, uh, but 12 of the best social media analytics tools and how they can help your business and why some of these are good for you and some of these are okay for you and some of these are out of your reach from being able to afford so, uh, Kate, you work in this each and every day. What's your thought on uh, some of these? So, um, analytics are really, really important. We know that it's the core to any marketing strategy, whether you are building a brand or your personal brand, whether you're doing social just for yourself or for a company. Um, it's very important to be able to prove what you're doing. I swear, I say it all the time, but uh, more than half of my job is proving that I'm doing my job, right? And that's what analytics are. It's just important to see the ROI, to see that all the work that you're putting in is getting views and most important engagements. So there's a lot of different tools on this list. And I think the most important aspect is just to kind of know what you're looking for in terms of analytics, what you really need to be paying attention to and picking the tool that's right for you. Yeah. And we went through uh, quite a few evaluations and we continue to do so. So it depends what we're measuring for what campaigns. Uh, the number one they list is a Wario. And um, Jackson, you and I talked about this a little bit, but what I liked most yeah. about a Wario, and it's A-W-A-R-I-O, uh, and it says it starts at $29 a month, but don't let those prices fool you, uh, even with free trials, as Kate and I know. Uh, the minute you start adding accounts, it climbs up the roof. But Jackson, what I liked about this is it really talked about not just being powerful analytics, but I like how it tracks keywords and how they're used with your brand. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, I want to hear, uh, was this the one? No, I think it's the next one. But the next one is super cool also. But yes, a Wario, I think it's very cool how it uh, creates a list of mentions, like the languages that you get mentioned in. That way you can see your demographics. You know, we, we, a lot of times, you know, and, you know, it's a problem in America that people just assume that, you know, okay, I'm going to tweet in this one, like, language. I'm going to cater to this one group. But there are many groups, you know? Like, America was, you know, originally known as a melting pot. So there's so many people. And if you're only, you know, looking at the people that are mentioning you in English, then it really doesn't, you know, add up. And, you know, there there's so much you're going to be missing out on. And so the fact that, you know, when you have... Uh, you know, a different uh, group of people who speak a different language that are mentioning you, you can see, you know, okay, you know, who's mentioning, where am I, how, how can I adjust to more orient to the people that are, that want to see the content, you know, your audience. Right. So I, I think yeah, that's, that's a very that's a cool, cool, that's a very cool feature that, you know, I, I don't see often when I'm, you know, researching these, uh, all these tools and, uh, uh, platforms to use when doing things like this and then also for other content creation purposes. <clears throat> and, uh, and, and you liked uh, Snapalytics too, right? Yeah, Snapalytics is a very cool one. Sna uh, so what it does is it uh, provides detailed performance data for uh, Instagram and Snapchat. So that's one that you really don't see measured that often. I mean, Instagram, but not Snapchat. And it'll show you, uh, you know, insights into how your stories are performing and then overall follower growth. And I think that's really cool because I think a lot of times in the B2B space, we forget about y using, you know, Instagram and uh, Snapchat to humanize the brand, you know, and, you know, show right. the 
behind the scenes aspects of what we do, you know, on a day to day basis. And I, I think that's the the coolest part. And, you know, even at the conferences that we go to, we use Snapchat. Uh, Kate does, uh, what is it? The chain, the, yeah. yeah the so chain, we do a lot of stories when we're at live events. Yeah. yeah so, so, so that would be cool. Yeah. To actually see what the performance of the stories are in the moment. So, yeah. So I think that's a very cool feature considering you really don't get that on many other platforms. Now I know, you know, the 12 different, the 12 best social media analytics tools, they're kind of spread out. You're like, Oh, I really like this feature. I really like this feature. And, you know, I think the biggest part of it is just kind of finding which features matter the most because I'm not going to go out and tell you to, you need to subscribe to all of these because that's not true. You know, you got to, you got to find which one fits your brand and your, your, uh, what you're looking for, what you're looking to get out of it, which one is going to be the most beneficial to your campaign. And once you've sat down and gone, okay, this one, this one, this one, and then you find that one, I would say, you know, it's worth spending the, you know, 10 to $15 a month. And I know that that's just where it starts, but I, it's, it's kind of worth it, especially if you're just managing your brand. You know, I think yeah. that's, that's very important and that'll be beneficial. And you'll see that ROI shortly after, you know, using the data that it's providing. So. Yeah. Another uh, one, I know, Kate, we've used uh, Hootsuite and, and Sprout Social before, and you settled in on Social Report. And, and I think uh, Rival IQ and Social Bakers, which will list all these for you, uh, all measure LinkedIn, which is a critical part of business influence, hence the book, Business Influence. Um, so, uh, so in that, um, what did you find in social report that had you choose that over all these others? Cause I think that's important for people to hear. Yeah. So it was, it, it was really hard for us to find a tool that was within our price range. Cause we're very budget conscious, um, managing multiple projects and also that did all the things that we wanted it to do. Um, so I really set out to find a report that scheduled and did analytics. I was looking for something that was maybe a little more expensive, but could take over the cost of having two separate tools that everybody on my team could use and own their projects. So that's how we landed on Social Report. Um, I really wasn't happy with the analytics on Hootsuite when I first, um, you know, came across this project. Um, but I've heard that they've updated a lot since then. So we were using Hootsuite to schedule and Sprout Social to analyze. And I said, listen, I need a, I need a one size fits all. I need a, something that does it all that everybody can use. And that's how we found it. So I think that their reporting is top notch. Um, specifically that it does LinkedIn analytics for influencers. So if you're trying to track your brand's LinkedIn posts and also your own and how they perform differently and how they work together, I highly suggest Social Report. Um, they're reporting to me. It's top notch. And also they let you schedule from influencers' profiles on LinkedIn. So we can schedule from Dean as well as Social Jack's company pages. And not all tools let you do that. So that's kind of what I came across and what I needed to do. And that was a tool that solved it all for me. Um, but I think once you can really look at analytics and dive in and see, um, you know, and, and if you're not going to track everything, like if, if languages isn't important to you, that's fine. Find the tool that is because on Social Report, we can decide what we want to track and what we don't. And for us, it's very important to track optimal days of the week and times of the week. Yeah. Thing that I look at a lot. So that's something that you can control. You can dive in and look at whether you're talking about a brand or a personal brand and you can, you know, edit and change to increase your ROI. So just a little hint from me. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, cool. All right, Jackson, take us out and thank you uh, both for, uh, for the news. Yeah. So that's all for the influencer news update this week. Make sure to tune in next week for more, uh, you know, tips and tools to boost your influence that are, you know, top trending articles. Also, uh, if you would like to see other articles posted or uh, posted and talked about in our group or on the podcast, make sure to tweet to us at, uh, at Jackson Delisle, at Dean Delisle, at Kate Hassett, or at Get Social Jack. And, you know, we'll, we're happy to accommodate any articles that you think are more that you would like us to dive into and discuss and really, uh, you know, talk about and shed some light on the subject. If maybe you have some questions, uh, this is the perfect place to ask them. 
make sure to, uh, you know, let us know and we'll happy to do it. Uh, and then, uh, if you want to, you know, subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, make sure to do that because we have, uh, you know, our segments, all our separate segments on the channels. That way we can, uh, you can watch, you know, if you just want the influencer news update, you can watch the influencer news update. Uh, if you want the interview that's coming up with uh, Dean and Richard, uh, make sure to you know click on the next video if you're just watching the Influencer News Update. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all for the Influencer News Update. And make sure to uh, let us know if you want to hear other articles. We're happy to accommodate. All right. Well, thank you, you two, and uh, awesome job as always. Thank you for listening to the Influence Factory podcast. We welcome feedback and suggestions. You can provide these by visiting our website at www.myinfluencefactory.com. And if you are interested in Social Jack's 90 Days to Influence program, you can simply go to 90daystobusinessinfluence.com and simply ask for the next steps. While our program airs regularly on Zoom webcasts and Facebook Live on Wednesdays at noon central, we invite you to download episodes on your favorite channel, YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, SoundCloud, and who knows where else in the future. We will also provide occasional on-location live streams with special guests that we will announce in our community Facebook group, Business Influencer Alliance, as well as on all Social Jack channels. Our mission is to help you build your digital business influence with this podcast, as well as inspire, educate, and entertain those who are hungry to collaborate in a cool place with cool business professionals just like you.